But up, it's Jimmy from Odds.com. This is a clip from our big Saturday, January 16th NCAA basketball show. So you want to check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on Odds.com. Max is not happy. Max is going to get that cash for us. That's what I think is going to happen. Let's get paid in full. Enjoy your weekend. But most importantly, make some money. We move on to Max's last action on the board, 4 p.m. Eastern. Max opened up with the American Eagles making their season debut in the Patriot League. Max is the governor of the Patriot League. He opens with the Patriot League. The governor closes with the Patriot League because that's how you bounce back. Max, extremely interesting spot. Loyola, Maryland, Greyhounds, the final team to make their debut at Lafayette Leopards, who are 3-1 and one in conference play, didn't play any non-conference play. We're at the Kirby Sports Center in eastern Pennsylvania, a, a town that I have been through. I've even gotten drunk and bold at eastern Pennsylvania. Loyola, Maryland is coming off a 15-17 and 17 season where they went 7-11 and 11 in conference. Last year's leading scorer, Andrew Kosteka's 19.9 points per game need to be replaced. Good thing. Second leading scorer, 6'11 Spaniard, Santi Aldama is destined for a big season. Last year he went 15.2 points, went for 15.2 points, and 7.6 boards. Also, Cameron Spencer, it's now his backcourt. He averaged 10.4 points, 3.4 boards, 3.1 assists last year, and he'll have the ball in his hands. In spots when Aldama can dominate, Loyola will be a very dangerous squad. This is not one of them. Lafayette's off to a great start. After losing their first game of the season, 90-89 in overtime at Lehigh, they've won three straight, all by double digits. Guards EJ Stevens and Justin Jaworski, or as Max and the boys call Jaws, are having monster starts. They're both averaging 22.8 points per game, hitting over 41% from three. The reason why... Aldama is not going to have his way. It's because of seven foot center Neil Quinn. He does everything out there, man. 10.3 points, 5.7 boards, 6.3 assists. You don't hear that from a center very often. Final game on Max's card. The governor of the Patriot League speaks. Listen, Jim, the Patriot League governor says, watch the hell out for those goddamn greyhounds. Because let me tell you something. While Jaws and EJ Stevens are definitely a formidable, borderline OG combo of scorers, they're going up against a group of guys that play well together. And although they are losing Andrew Kosteka, the cupboard is far from bare. You got your super sophomore trio of Santi Aldama, you got Cam Spencer, who this team was 7-3 and three with, with both of them in the lineup in Patriot League games last year. So these guys make a difference. I think that with Golden DK, he put together a really solid freshman season, you know. He averaged respectable 7-5 and five for a guy who doesn't make a lot of free throws and doesn't really have a, a deep, balanced offensive scoring game. I think that with him on the glass, he's going to be able to give Neil Quinn a lot of fits because what we do know about Neil Quinn, Jim, is that he's really big, he doesn't jump, and he's kind of slow. So him trying to guard Santi Aldama, that isn't going to happen because if he does, Santi's going to take him out to the perimeter and he's going to drop 15-foot jump shots on his ass all evening. With this... With this Loyola Maryland team, they're very they're very good. You know, they got balance, they got depth, they got experienced guards to go along and play with Cam Spencer and Isaiah Hart and Jalen Andrews. Both of them figure to be double digit scorers and have more scoring opportunities without Kosteka. And we've seen this team be successful and good to your bankroll without Kosteka in the lineup because he did have injuries, uh, injury issues while. 
He was at Maryland. And I think that when you look at this team, this is a team that has played tough against this Lafayette team. What Lafayette does well is shoot threes. What this Loyola Maryland team naturally does with their great size at all their guard and wing positions is close out on three-point shooters. I think that this is a game that Lafayette has a little more trouble scoring. I think that they put up the same kind of volume uh, three-point shooting. I just don't think that they're that successful. The one area of concern I do have is how they're going to do on the offensive glass versus Aldama versus DK versus even Cam Spencer, who's big enough to go into the glass. Last year, we saw Neil Quinn was very successful against this defense. So a year of planning and a year of growth and development shouldn't hurt. Also, the game last year that they played when Aldama was in the lineup, guess who wasn't in the lineup on the other side? Jaws. Jaws was out injured. So I saw this number open up, Jim, at – what did I have written down? I saw them open this lineup at 10 for Loyola, Maryland. I would have loved to take that 10. But this is a game where I think that this is the one of the rare occasions where a team that has not played games is so itching and excited to get out there and has so much talent – one through seven that uh, they come out and they keep this game close. I'm going to take the dog here again with Loyola, Maryland. This is a game that I could even see them winning. So uh, what, what number can you get me for them on the spread full game? What a very exciting breakdown. I was seeing if Bet 365 could possibly help us here. And uh, they can't at this point. 